Hi, welcome back to Calls KRC. Happy 2020. I hope you all had a good new year and a fantastic Christmas. So today I want to talk about what's coming in 2020 and what we can look forward to. But mainly I want to know what you want to see. What do you want to see? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you want to see out of drones, FPV, anything moving forward into next year. So I want to talk about the back end of last year and the changes it has made. So this year we've seen this. So we've seen the Feed Me X8 SE, I love it or hate it, and the people are split with this, I know that much, but since I've had this one, the repaired one, or the newly sent to me one, I've had no issues with it whatsoever, I think it flies great. This gimbal guard, by the way, is a bargain. You can pick it up from Gearbest or Banggood, they both select about three and a half quid. So this has been a bit of a game changer, it's 4K camera, 369 quid-ish if you can get it on a deal. Then also, on well, the back end of the year, previous year, we had the Xeno. Yes, I have got another one. There's another video coming on this to tell you why I bought another Xeno and why I bought a black one. So the Xeno came out and that was also a game changer and that's the first one really that came out with a 4K camera and of course at the back end of last year we have the Marmite Mavic Mini. I still hold my opinion on the fact that I don't like the app and certain things but I will say this I would expect and I would predict one prediction for 2020 that the camera settings become available on the app I think that will happen people are saying they'll make it 4k because it's they probably think they can do it I don't think they'll make it 4k because the Mavic Air will probably will come out which we'll talk about in a minute but these three drones have set a bit of a precedence they're all under 400 pounds and they're all, four, well, they're not 4K compatible, but they're all very good camera drones, love them or hate them. So moving forward, what's going to happen? We know we've got the Hubson Xeno 2, I don't, well, you're going to watch this video, I don't know if anybody's got one yet, or I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube that I'm sceptical about whether they're real or not, but certainly the main reviewers haven't got them in the hand yet. QC guy's not got one, so I'll be waiting to see his video to make up my mind whether I really do like this drone or not. Having said that, for the price, bit of a no-brainer when it was on the deal. I believe the deal's ended now, you need to double check. I have got links below whether the deal still works. And I've also got links below for this because this is a bargain price at the minute. But moving on from that. So we know that's coming out. Definitely that's coming out. We know the Altel Evo 2 is coming out. Now, this is predicted at 6K, 8K for different versions. Three axis gimbal, one inch sensor. It looks a winner. To me, he's going to be. To be fair, the uh, original Outer Levo is fantastic. The biggest problem you're going to be is this going to be a USA only release or is this going to be a worldwide release? It's the same problem we've got with the Sky Dio 2. The Sky Dio 2 has come out, you can't pick them up anywhere. Having said that, I'm probably glad I haven't at the minute because I'm seeing issues on every video I've watched. Original Dobo's video, he has issues with the range. Um, I've seen other videos where the autonomous features can't be turned off, which would be a killer for me if you couldn't do that. And if you're probably thinking, well, why would you buy the... You're right, I shouldn't buy the drone in the first place because I don't go mountain biking and cycling. Or I can't anyway, but that's another story. But even if I could, I wouldn't. And these are things that that drone's made for, in my opinion. It's made for that purpose. But it's a fantastic drone. Nevertheless, the picture quality I've seen on video looks amazing. And also on still shots, looks really, really good. So moving back to 2020, we know that the, the Xeno 2 is coming out, we know the Altel Evo is coming out. I'd imagine at some point they're going to release a Mavic 3. What that Mavic 3 will have, well, that remains to be seen. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't have a 1 inch sensor, it doesn't have a Hasselblad lens and it hasn't got a zoom feature. I'd imagine all these things, three things, are going to be on that drone and it's going to be calling 4K 60 frames per second. I think they're no-brainers, it's how much else they put into the drone. Are they going to try and compete with Skydio on all the other elements it's had? Is it going to have a really good obstacle avoidance? Is it going to be able to track you for miles? All these things no one knows yet because it hasn't actually been announced. Uh, X-Dynamics have got a new drone coming out. I can't remember what the other one is called an Evolve, the one with a massive controller. I saw some videos on it, I was not impressed at all with that drone. It looked amazing, probably the best looking drone I've ever seen in my life. It was two and a half grand, something like that. They've got a new one coming out, apparently they've changed the controller. And let's see what they've done with it. The camera didn't look good to me at all. It didn't seem to fly very well. And obviously the proof of the pudding, can you make it fly? Can you get that camera good? 
So that's coming out next year. We know that for certain. CES is just around the corner. I believe it's about a week away for you lucky people in America. Unfortunately, we don't have anything. We have a thing called the drone show at the end of the year. It isn't anywhere near that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to watching videos from CES to see what people have got on the table there. So I want you to tell me, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? I see what I want to see next year. I want to see more of these. I want to see more sub 400 pound camera drones. And I'm not saying made by Hudson or Femi or DJI. I'm saying let's have a good can't someone else do this? You've got Unique who made the I can't is it the Mantis G? Because I had the Mantis Q which was appalling. The Mantis G to me don't look that much better. It looks alright, but it just certainly don't look 600 quid. If that drone had been 399 pounds, we'd be having a different conversation. I'd probably have showed you one on the table and I'd have done a video. But not at 650. It's not a Mavic Air to me. It's not as good as a Mavic Air. It's not going to be. So, someone needs to come forward. Is someone else going to pop out of the scene and do this? So, if you if you watch my channel and you've seen me review MGX products. So, MGX make good, high-end high toy grade, if that makes any sense. So, they're not that level, but they're not far off. The drones fly really, really well. If they could if they could accomplish a 4K camera with a three axis gimbal and get a controller that was more than toy grade and that's what I expected to see. I expected them to come to the front last year, maybe make a 1080p 60 frame per second one and move forward that way. They didn't, they brought out the 4W which was more of the same, just toy grade, brushless, flew really nice because I had the EX3 which was the Earsheen version, flew superb, camera appalling. There's only so much time you can keep doing this. You, you can only keep bringing out drones that are not going to get to the next level because the £200 drone market, which is what they kind of classed as, now it's too close. Well, it's, you, I paid less than 200 quid for this. This is 369 and you can, I bought this. When I bought this on the deal, it was 319 So you've got that kind of market. You've got pe people bringing out drones that are killing these people off. But they still sell, which is a bit I don't understand. But moving forward, that's what I'd like to see. Someone else come to the market and bring out a drone that was like that. Hubson did it. Absolutely massive respect. I knocked them at the beginning. When I first got this drone, I did the review and told it how it was. And it, it, let's be fair, it flew appallingly badly. It used to drop it. You couldn't trust it in the air. It was all over the place. The camera on mine was a garbage camera. But look where it is now. Does it fly as well as the DJI drone? No, but it's not going to do it at that price. You're buying at a price point. I'm more than happy with the way these things fly, so someone needs to come out and bring more drones like this out. Because at the minute, you've got Hubson, and they'll be battering that middle ground competition. I don't care. Feed me, you're going to lose track when the new one of these comes out. That's my... It's my opinion, but it's also a fact, I think, because... They've got 60 frames per second on their camera. They've got longer flight times. They've got greater distance. Not that the distance is irrelevant really, because I don't think any of them do the distance. So, on the other side of it, on the FPB side of it, DJI made massive forefronts last year and brought digital FPB. We've also seen the, well it's a beta product really, is Frostbite from, uh, Frostbite from, Frost, sorry, from um, Fat Shark, it's a beta flight product, but it's certainly, in my opinion anyway, nowhere near the DJI product. But someone probably is going to come forward. In my opinion, my favourite product of last year was this, which is the Jumper T16, and I own two of them. So, that's a long story, I two, but I, this is my favourite product of last year. I think this was the superb transmitter. To me, it's a bit of a game changer. Uh, it's funny because I'm on the forums of these things and I see people saying they don't know how to do this and they don't know how to do that. If you've come from Spectrum and you're buying an OpenTX product, for God's sake, don't just try and jump in and program this thing because it's a mile apart. You need to go and watch some videos. Painless 360 does some fantastic setup videos. Not on this, on the Tyrannis, which is exactly the same. The screen looks different, but the features are the same. And Joshua Bardwell does excellent videos. Even on, he's actually done videos on this. You need to watch them videos if that's what you're doing. You want to move from Spectrum or even fly sky to this learn to program it first before you you, you want to watch the videos you might not like it in the end but this to me is an a game changer i love this transmitter and so my favorite product for last year is that transmitter i also love the i'm still splashing out of last year's i still love the xeno now i've had this and i've got one that flies correctly and everything i think this is a great product 
but it can be beaten. And then I've got the Mavic Mini, which is just Marmite. My opinion's changed over flying this because I've flown it more now. And my opinion of the way of some of the features, the camera now looks better than I think that it did. Because I flew it in high wind the first couple of times I flew it, which I don't recommend doing, by the way. But my opinion's changed. If they get the app sorted out and they put the unlock the features for the camera, I'm more than happy. They can stop there for me. I'm not bothered about it being 4K or anything else. I'm just happy with that. 60 frames per second would be nice at 2.7, but you can't have everything, can you? So, thanks so much for watching. Moving forward on the channel. So, next year, well, this year now, it's going to be much the same. Continue on with the camera drones. I've obviously got the Phoebe Palm coming, which I've been pushing a little bit. Phoebe Palm looks amazing. If you've not watched my comparison, well, it's not my video, it's a video, it's a promo video, you'll see how good it looks. Uh, it's just a complete copy to me of the DJI Osmo Pocket. So that's coming up on my channel, but moving forward, I'm obviously going to keep doing the same camera drones, FPV equipment, FPV drones, FPV builds. Also, retro gaming is going to start appearing. It's not going to be in place of something, it's going to be an extra. So retro gaming is something that I'm massively into. I did a video with some retro room. I'm massively into that. So moving forward, you're going to see some retro builds that I've done, some retro handhelds that I've got, and what you can do for a small amount of money to make an amazing console. So they are going to be added to the channel moving on probably not for the next few weeks but certainly moving forward you're going to see them more in the limelight so coming for, moving forward into next year there is going to be a period where i can't fly it's probably going to be three months because i'm having an operation and when i have that operation you're probably going to see more videos that I've all, i'll make some pre videos but there's going to be gaps obviously because i can't make three months <laughs> worth of videos so there is going to be gaps where i'm not appearing videos i'll let you know when that is before i go in for the op but it is coming up shortly and also you're just going to have to bear with me in that point so coming up in the next few weeks, we've got some build videos, I've got some playing videos coming up. I've got the Tiny Hawk Freestyle coming up on review. I'm actually going to do the Nazgul 5 video and show you that, that I've not done it. I've got a couple of really nice builds coming up, a couple of three inch builds coming up that I've got a run cam in. So they're really nice, I'm really pleased with those builds. So, and obviously more camera footage from these drones. So thanks ever so much for listening to me ramble yet again. I hope you had a, once again I hope you have a great new year, you've had a great new year, great Christmas and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.